Welcome back, my peaches, to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. We are officially on episode 20 of our great series through the Mojave and all of its silly antics. Uh, in this episode, we have been tasked with observing the Night Stalker's behavior. Um, also, just a little heads up, today will be a bit of a shorter episode since I'm a little, I'm a little crunched for time, so... Uh, it, we will, we will just have to make do with what we've got, so that is, that is that. But how are we doing? How are you doing? Sit, sit down and, and grab your little snack and enjoy some fallout from yours truly. Uh, you know, like, like how OJ Simpson used to say, hello, Twitter world, hello, YouTube world, it's yours truly. Um, so we have to go to this dumbass cave and we have to observe the, the nightkin. Uh, who are being big shillies. What's this? Hollowed out rock. A whetstone, huh? That's kind of cool that there's just like a hollowed out empty rock there. And like, yeah, that, that's neat. I can, I can... That's, that's cool. Anyway, let's go, uh... Go down into here. I think we got our mighty trusty shotgun with us. I, uh, have a feeling we're gonna need it. Oh, there's invisible night stalkers. Have they always been able to go invisible, or have has that is that a new development with the with the nightkin? I wonder if they're like spliced with nightkin. Maybe that's how they get their camouflaged. Ah! Oh no! Oh yeah, we had to put him down. Poor puppy. Not really. I hate these things. I want them all to be put down. Boom! Who's next? Boom! Who's next? We don't want to shoot Eddie now. A little backflip for you, piece of shit, dog. I like how he played that like seven times. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Dude, this shotgun is so kick-ass. I love this thing. Let's load up some dragon's breath rounds since I absolutely hate these things and they all deserve to burn in the eternal pits of fire. Good night. Oh, did that not work out for you, you stupid, dumb dog? Whoa, chewed stealth boy, huh? Interesting. I don't know what what did any of this tell me. I found one dead nightkin, a dead big horner, and a bunch of night stalkers. How is that a cure? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, hello. Got a problem? Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Um. How, how are they the messing with corners, it? Shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Are you sure they work for the NCR? I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Whoever they are, they want us dead or gone. What do you want they're me to sure. do? They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Fair. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. I'll see what I can do for you, Marcus. I have no problems with that. Unfriendly uh, persuasion. Where are they at? Are they just like right up here? Yeah, they're just right out here. Oh my god, Boone, you moved at the speed of sound. Why is my helmet off? Excuse me? Oh yeah, because we had the rebreather on from that one part. Hey guys, what are you what are you doing? Y'all aren't with the NCR. What do you what do you guys think you're doing here? Go away. Our business is with the muties, not you. Uh, go away or you'll will deal with me and you'll wish you were fighting the super mutants instead. These guys have done absolutely nothing wrong. You're just an asshole. I've always known when to fight and when to back down. And it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My man yeah, because you're a leaving. pussy. I'll beat the shit out of you again. and steal your shoes. Get out of here. Wish the muties would make a move. Getting sick of waiting. It's much cooler up here. I love it. It's much cooler up here. I love it. We've got nothing yeah. to talk about. Get gone. 
get gone or you'll all be gone. No one messes with my, my muty homies. These are the only mutants that are nice to us and they're civil. Why the hell would you want to piss them off? Like, they can survive radiation. They can be very great utility-wise. You don't have to worry Good. about them anymore. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Hell yeah. Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. We'll he's fix him. than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Hmm. What happens if Kane leaves? There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most that's a fair fan. That's, that's, that's a that's a fair point. Might come here looking for payback. I mean, wouldn't they listen to you though? That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others, mutants included. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've got the... I've apparently got an idea for the cure, according to this mission. Yeah. See? Let's go tell the lovely doctor about what we found. Is there something else I can do for you? Yeah. I found a shoot-up stealth boy in the night lot, mm. a night stalker lair. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. What are the risks? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition. The then why do you want to use her? Things worse for her. Mm. Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. Well, if she wants to help, I'll talk to her. All right. Let's go tell Lily. Lily! Yo, we need you from ex like some experiments, dog. Heavens to Betsy, but Mr. Betty Menonastian, I hope you've realized, Pumpkin, that God doesn't pay. Sure, you still want to help with the experiment? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll Why do you have, now. like, leather ripping your, like, your teeth Wait. up? Look at her go. I'm moving like a unit. I'm ready to do the experiment. The equipment is hooked up and ready. Uh, go ahead and start Very your well. tests. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. Okay. Whoa. All right. Power I hate the these things. Boy, Lily. Turning it on. Strange. Strange, but good. Strange, but Try good. Try aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave she's seen, activity is She's zero. definitely seen better that days. Possibly be right. The gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I like having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment. Once what the I've hell? The well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. 
Mm, My let's, request is perfectly reasonable. Let's calm down here. Voice, Bex, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. Uh, what you do in the wasteland affects all mutants here. But you didn't think about that, did you? No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Okay. So many staring eyes. Mark's Calm the hell down. Nice work with the nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their mindset to it. I got yeah, I, 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 there's a reason I speech check everybody, brother. Don't worry. Cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... Hmm, if only I had high enough... If only I had a high enough thing. Sure, we'll say Very this, though. Well. It will be worth it, I'm sure. Is the quest done? Was that it? Bother someone else. Uh, well, you don't have any more dialogue. I don't want do I talk to Marcus now? Or have I done, like, everything I can do for... Is there something else I... Promising. But I won't be able to... Hmm. Well. And that's the end of that, I guess. What, what, does she have anything to say? My. Hmm. Ow! Talk to you soon. I hurt my foot. Um, okay, well, let's go talk to Marcus and see if he has anything to say. If not, I guess we're done here at Jacobstown. Man, shame my science wasn't high enough to hit that, but, eh, you win some, you lose some. I like how you handled Keen. Without the Nightkin around, Jacobstown would be much weaker than it is. Yeah, no worries. See you. What up, yes man? How you doing? Oh! Hi again! Let's talk about the tribes. The boomers really? have vowed to support talk me. Talk about diplomatic skills. I mean, just not getting blown up was a success. Now they'll only blow up the right sorts of people. That's one... Uh... I helped the Muertas perfect, perfect their plan to slaughter everyone on the strip. Hmm. I know the Brotherhood okay. and I left them alone. Consider them forgotten. Along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten! Hmm. Yeah, I helped them. I it'd be bad for the strip, but... I guess it must be good. Yeah! Take this strip down a notch or two, right? All right, let's talk about something else. Okay, well, we've talked about, uh, we talked to those three. So perhaps we should talk to one of the high society people. That way we can knock out everything and officially get our, get our ruling on how we view everybody in the wasteland in terms of factions or like minor tribes, I guess. Hey, your mama and I think we'll, uh, I think on uh, episode 21, we'll probably start dead money because that just seems right this is, these have kind of been the uh, the, the filler uh, wrap-up episodes of some quests that we have out in the Mojave itself I figured we should get them done at some point before uh, it gets too too far along yeah we sure sneak blop 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 goodbye neat Okay, so who do I gotta talk to? You're just a regular guy. I bet you someone back here will know something. La -da 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 -dun -dun -dun. You're just a gambler. You don't have any dialogue for some reason. You're weird. Uh, what can you tell me about your organization? My, such a popular question. I suppose it can only be natural to see us and wonder what is it that makes us special. The Weigel of Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course, but our pedigree was established over generations. Were, uh, were we always so refined? I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. 
Not everyone can wear the finest clothes and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. That's what the White Glove Society is all about. Uh, do you have any work for me? Yes, I'm glad you asked. I've heard about you, you know. You strike me as the sort of person who can help me. I'm in a bind. I've been planning an exquisite society dinner, but there's a bit of a problem with the main course. I didn't even get to read it. He's got a powerful and temperamental father. The main course is a person? Oh, wait, what? Yes, the wrong person. We scouted the right one for weeks. The heir of the mercantile empire. Sort of a black sheep. He cut ties with his family and left their entire estate to wander. He was ideal, corn-fed, and well-to-do. But no one to miss him if he were to disappear. Unfortunately, the trap my subordinates set him for him failed. And then, and as he escaped, he saw the faces. Now he's wary. Hmm. What did you do? I asked for a last minute replacement and they stole the son of the most dangerous Brahmin baron in New Vegas while he stayed at this very hotel. Needless to say, this could be a disaster if things aren't put back the way they should be. And I still need somebody reputable to serve dinner. Strictly speaking, we're no longer allowed to eat people, but I'm hoping the right person in preparation might sway Marjorie to see uh, things my way. Tell me what you need to do. I need a replacement, and I need the boy you're taken care of. The replacement must be healthy and well-bred. One can very well make a steak from gristle. With so little time, we'll have to go after our original choices. Charlie St. Clair. He lives in the shack north of here. For freshness, we need him alive. If you could send him here and knock him out with this, drag him next to the dumpster next to his house. We can do the rest. Um, Wouldn't that give it a terrible taste? Not this one. Empty. I don't believe it's seen use before the war. And what would the point be, really? Who would pick up a, a, a pick up his trash if he used it? That is a good point. But for our purposes, it should keep his body safe and hidden until my cohorts can recover it. What about the boy you kidnapped? Ted Gunderson is his name. It would be simplest if you could convince him that this was all an unfortunate misunderstanding. But if he won't listen, we can't very well let him go. He'll have to be slaughtered and served. Then we wouldn't need a replacement. But you would need to deal with his father. Heck, perhaps if you could smear some of Ted's blood around his father's hotel room, you could frame him. Couldn't Heck just claim intruders killed the son? I'll do it. Splendid, splendid. The boy is being held in the kitchen beneath the gourmand. Here are some keys that will allow you to access him. Okay. Kinda. The Elder Gunderson is staying in our penthouse. I understand he's hired security, so be careful if you go up there. And our Mr. St. Clair resides to the north. He rarely strays far from his house, and he's surrounded it with booby traps. Hushed. Would my companion here make a suitable replacement meal? No! Couldn't Heck just claim intruders killed his son? No, everyone he meets he tells the same story. That his son disappeared from the casino, not from his room. He'll look guilty. Alright. Well, let's go get the guy from the shack, because uh, I'm not going to go pissing off some baron. I hate how quiet it is. It's like oddly weird. It's like no audio for like some stuff. It's very odd. Is it going to be fixed when I go through this? Oh, is my game going to crash? I bet you my game crashes. Watch this shit. Will the game Will the game crash? Will the game crash again? No. Looks like we made it. Cool. Um, so, you uh, may be realizing this is a bit of a up, uh, late upload today. Uh, and you're like, why are you like over-explaining? You just made a cut. This is the same episode. Uh, I actually had to finish this part the next day so uh it's been a day since uh that cut that cut literally saved you 24 hours in real time the power of video editing anyway uh so we need to figure out this stupid white society bullshit uh what up uh let's go in here jesus christ that's how you do that? Like, that's just how you do your thing? Okay. Alright, whatever. 
Shit. Okay. Sunset says Sparilla. Let's go, baby. It's back in action. We got some Sunset Sarsaparilla back in stock. Yes, sir. We like that. We you. What do you think you're doing? Um. Uh, the main water burst upstairs. They sent me down to survey the damage. Curse it all. Your timing couldn't be more atrocious. Just make it quick, all right? Okay. You didn't see nothing. Don't worry about it. Close this door here. Hmm. Oh, yes. Bathroom. Hmm, yes. First aid. Thank you. I appreciate your donations. Ha ha ha. Thank you for the stim packs, baby. Anyone in here? Anyone in here? Anyone in here? Man, I was hoping to catch them shitting. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey, more stim packs. Wait, no stim pack? Your betrayal and your disappointment has happened for the last time. What's this do? Oh, this is the pantry access. Oh, what you got in here? What you got in here? Why do you have just noodles? Purified water. Food. Yum, yum, yum. I do be loving me some dinner. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and I'm here to steal noodles in Fallout New Vegas. And then just cuts to us. We're Markiplier. All right, I don't need any more of your food. Well, maybe I'll take the Sunset Sarsaparilla and whatever's in this first aid box right here. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Oh my god. Hold on. That is... That is some money right there, boy. That's some good healings down here in Louisiana. We would we would eat dandy boy apples, fancy lady snacks, pork and beans, cram, blamco mac and cheese, buffalo gourd seeds, yum yum deviled eggs, grilled mantis, bubblegum gumdrops. Oh my god. Oh, it's all empty. Isn't it? That is the most depressing thing I have ever experienced. I was so happy. I got new Coca-Cola in my tummy as I go sipping merrily along. And they say, oh, sunset sarsaparilla, the greatest thing since my schlong. Oh, yeah. Give me more food. I'm out of heels, bitch. I need it! Disengage the lock. Open the door. If the hey. ACR ain't gotta worry about Caesar no more, it should worry about improving. My Hello. dad's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. Here, your daddy. Calm down. I've come to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it. I almost died. I ain't helping those bastards. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. Uh, your dad's powerful. Someone wants to wants him to feud with the White Glove City. My daddy's got a lot of enemies. It don't make no sense that the White Pants Society would kidnap me. He's here to do business with them. Well, you got a point. But if you don't know who it is, my daddy's gonna be awful mad. He ain't got anyone to shoot over this. All right, let's get out of here. Cool. I think I somehow helped them anyway. Uh. Brahmin meat is a treat. Give me some of that Brahmin meat. Gecko steaks, human skull, um, more ant meat, more mole rat. I don't want these cutting boards. Hello, Come Ted. On, Come on, Ted Gundersan. Bend that dick. Come her snatch. Why is that inaccessible? What's in here? I was literally just in there. What's down over here? Oh my god, there's Sunset Sarsaparilla! I love how we've almost completely, like, full inventoried off. So Get out of here, Ted! 
God, you're a terrifying force of nature. We... Uh, go, what, uh, mmm, boom ba dee ah uh, ooh where, where do I go, where do I see, are there anything in any of these lockers, Nuka-Cola, oh my god, uh, what's down here, okay, well, I will just lockpick this for the skill check, Let's go back in here, because it wants us to go back here. Alright. Um, I'm sorry? I'm sorry? You're gonna stop. Can't run from me. Oh, sorry, Ted. Just, yeah. See, problem solved. The problem fixed itself. Okay, come on, Ted. Hopefully we didn't just, like, screw up everything, because that's gonna... That's gonna fucking suck. I don't like these guys anyway. They're cannibals. <laughs> Whatever. No one will notice. Did you just parry me? Hey. Hey, 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 Get his ass. Don't let him run. Aw, oh, shit. Well, this isn't good. All right, well, uh, looks like we've absolutely botched this one, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh... Can't run from me. Where'd she go? Well, we just bashed Boone over the back of the head. Sorry, Boone. Yeah, thanks, Boone. Help me out, bro. Beat his ass. Uh, I'm gonna take this. And then here's what we're gonna do. I have an idea. Haha! -ha! That shit worked. Maybe. We will see. La 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 la. I am running. La la la. Hello. I'm a white society member. You don't notice a thing. Hello. Cool. It worked. No one notices a thing. We managed to save it. I've got spurs. That jingle jangle. Dude, I love how fast we run. It's so much better. Um, why do you have a knife out? Just put it up. 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 We're trying to get out of here, dog. Let's not... Let's not, uh, do anything rash. Da, da, da. Let's just leave. I've got a pretty dress on! Hello, Heck Gunderson. Oh my god. Ted, are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. I don't know why I got attacked. Okay. Uh, what do we gotta do next? Uh, quest. Go to quest. Secure an acceptable replacement for Ted Gunderson as the White Glove Society's main course and talk to St. Clair at his residence ship of the North Strip. Okay. Huh. Let's change back into our power armor. Alrighty. Apparel. Bang, bang. Wow, I have like 300 pounds on me because of all the stuff that I am carrying. That is not cool. However, it's time for, uh, it's time to play the game. It's time to play the game! Cool. Uh, Nuka Cola. Boone! Or Eddie? 
One of you come here. You're gonna carry things for me now. Like all my alcohol and things that I don't feel like carrying. Hmm. That, yep. You get to carry all my heels. That's food. You get to carry all my food heels. How does that feel, Eddie? I bet that is an honor that you never thought that you would get in your little robot life. Well, now it's here. I got gumdrops. What if Freddy Fazbear just showed up in the in the Vegas Strip? Well, what would you guys do? How does this not weigh anything? Uh, you can carry that. Uh, 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 uh. Dear Maria. Um, you can have the dress cane. Wow, we are still so far over our limit. What the hell? Why do I have so much stuff? Oh yeah, miscellaneous items. That'll do it. There you go. You can have that, you can have that, you can have that, 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 that. Uh, anything that pretty much weighs, you can carry for me because I don't want to carry it. Three cutting boards. Some coffee mugs. Hmm, anything else? Carton of cigarettes. There you go. We have a lot of bottle caps. Sweet. Well, let's go to Dude McFella's McChuckleNuts' house and see whatever the hell he wants to give us. Meet you there. Yeehaw! Yeah! Reach for the sky, what the hell? Lady. I'm not. Hey, give me that gun. I want that. I know what that is. Sorry, but I need to shoot Stacy. We can find you another gun. Mm, can I buy it from this you? This is the best gun in the whole galaxy. I paid a million caps for it, and it wasn't even brand new. Um, yeah, but your heavy uh, use has really depreciated the value. It's only worth like 20 caps now. Oh, man, it's Stacy's fault. She pretends like she didn't get hit. That's still a lot of money. I guess I'll take it. You look tired. You should make really a break. I don't to go to bed until it gets dark out. Okay. Well, see you later. This thing kicks ass, by the way. Where is it? Yeah. It's pretty red. It's going up here. I mean, how do I get ammo for this thing? Anyway, what up, Vagrant? Would anybody notice? What are, you, what are you doing? Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. Uh. Oh, look. A body. Um. Is that a friend of yeah, yours? Just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? No. Hey, hey buddy. What happened? I thought this was the wrong alley. I totally didn't see that coming with the fact that you were just some shady dude, child. Stacy. Hey, it's Mick and Ralph's. We made it to Mick and Ralph's adventure. If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice. Uh, what do you got? You got any stim packs? Because I'll take those. I will take those all day. You don't. You're a piece of shit. I hate you. Do you offer any other services? I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Impress him and we can talk. Hmm. A resourceful fellow such as yourself must have something on the side. Alright. Yeah, I've got a little side business going. What I'm about to share with you does not leave this room, eh? Okay. Over the years, I've gradually perfected my craft to the point of perfection. No one can distinguish between my work and the real thing. What I'm referring to is passports. If you've got the caps, I can whip up a strip passport which will fool even the most well-trained eye. I don't need that. Hey, if you're interested and have the caps... I mean, I'll buy it from you. Yeah, sure. You <laughs> Bye. Yeah, cool, I got a fake passport. Thanks. I just have that now. That's just a thing that I have. Hey! 
Where is... Where is Mickey? Where is the Mickeys? Can I use this? Why can I never use any of the crafting, like the chemistry benches that are just, you know, around? Hidden. So that's where you can find more rocket fuel, I just discovered. Welcome to Mick and for that Ralph. mission. If you need for um, general supplies and other services. Yeah. My partner Ralph. Uh how's business? Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we did buy. Good selection from traders and the Van Graffs keep things running. Hmm, what's the deal with them? That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. If okay. you hear anything, let me know. Will do. What guns do you have for sale? I'll take all your ammo, dog. Like, 100%. We're buying every single thing you have ammo-wise. That's all coming with me. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme them chicken tendies. Come on. Wow, I wish I could just do this faster. You can keep your BBs. I don't need those. Uh, what do you got apparel-wise? Couple jumpsuits. Couple cowboy hats. Little devil. That looks cool. I want that. Thanks. Nuka breaker. I also want that because it's funny. Is there anything else that you have that I want because funny? Embrace the Mantis King? Yes. I want Thanks. those. Repair stuff for me too while you're at it. Thank you. You have any special what? items for sale? You work for one of the casinos? Uh. Speech 30, no. In that case, yes, I do. Hell Follow yeah. Me. What? Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. Oh, you've got some cool stuff, huh? Got any more ammo there? What weapons you got? What else you got here? Did I already buy it? You don't have anything else? That I already buy all the cool stuff. So you might be wondering, hey, Peachy, this isn't the guy. And also you stopped at Mick and Ralph's. Well, that's because I want to help out Mick and figure out why the Omertas stopped buying weapons from them. Because uh, I think he has like a weapon or something he gives you, someone told me. Um, something like that. Uh, hey, what's going on, hey. Mixel? You should buy guns from Mick and Ralph. People are starting to ask questions. Right. You've done some good work for us. I'll do this as a favor for you. Thanks. That was really easy. Thanks for wasting my time. You're welcome. I have a I have a not at home. Must be cozy up there. You you have a good time now. All right. Well, we did that. That was extremely fast. So now we uh, just casually uh, walk our happy asses back to Rick and Mouth. Rick and Mouth, huh? Always... Hola. Hello, Welcome Mr. Back. Mick. Good news. The Omuertas uh, say they're gonna buy arms from you again. Outstanding. You have no idea how much this means to me. Yeah, this is the I weapon. Think this little beauty will give you an idea. Pimp boy, three billion. Oh, it wasn't a weapon. I was lied to. It was a wild wasteland encounter. Interesting. That's my pit boy now, huh? At a tilt. Hell yeah! I I I, I like that. It, yep, that was worth it. I'm glad no one spoiled it and told me that it was a. Didn't tell me that it was an actual gold pimped out pit boy. Bro, wait, look at that. That's like brighter. That hurt my eyes. Hell yeah, that's cool. All right, well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go get that guy now. We did our little fun side quest. Time to go. Uh, time to go find the guy for the White Society. Tell the Yes Man and end today's episode because uh, it's a long one. Because, yep. Hey, Shack Man, what's going on? Keep your distance. Who are you and what do you want? Um. Your naked body, stud. Go into the dumpster and I'll meet you after the I dumpster. change. That's filthy. Yeah. I can't tell you how much that turns me on. It takes me back to my youth when I used to fool around with the help at our estate. I shouldn't, but uh, it's been so long. And when is this ever going to happen to me again? Okay, you're on. Don't keep me waiting, gorgeous. Easy. Get absolutely destroyed. 
That was... That was quick. Hey, what up, stupid? Any word as to our... Yeah, uh, he's in the dumpster. Just as I asked. What a magnificent relief. By now, barring any more bungling, my underling should have him on his way here. Good. You have done very well in keeping this business low key. I appreciate your discretion. I'll be sure to drop your name during our functions. Good. I hope you understand what a tremendous boon this will be to your standing in society. Ah, uh, did you succeed in turning the white glove back into cannibalism? We'll know after tomorrow night's banquet at seven o'clock. I'll only be telling everyone what they've eaten after they've eaten it. That way, that's so. They will all have crossed the screwed. same silly taboo. They'll have to reconsider it, even Marjorie. It's all image with her anyway. She just needs to realize the only difference between savage and sophisticated is the proper seasoning. Y'all are wild. Alright, now we wait 24 hours. Well, like, 21 hours. Because I want to see what the result of this is, and then we're ending the episode. Here we go. It's coming. Oh boy. Ah, you're back. Did you succeed? I certainly did. Philippe created an extraordinary amuse-bouche from the flesh of the late Mr. St. Clair. Everyone at the banquet loved it. I told them what it was, and the room was quiet for a moment. But then we all had a hearty laugh. Uh, what's next now that you've now done that? that it's been accepted, it will become a regular course for us. That's a new great. And exciting He's made a bunch of cannibals. Chef. I've never seen him so cheerful. Uh, will you serve it at the Gorman? Oh, I very much doubt that. What fun would it be if everyone could have it? Then again, I wouldn't be surprised if our chef used it here and there as a secret ingredient to make his dishes really come alive. I... Man, I have just... I just made messes. Well, anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode, folks. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, sorry about that little uh, in-between part there where everything went bad. bad. Um, oh, I've still got to talk to Mar Marjorie. Well, we'll do that in the next episode. So That's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you can make sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. Uh, it really shows that you guys are enjoying the videos and everything. Uh, so... That's it from me for today. Stay peachy. Bye-bye.